A few footsteps off Government Street in Victoria, and Trounce Alley sucks you in. Your curious feet tunnel you down a depth of steps into a creative space. This is the absolute underground retail store. Edgy imagery on the walls, provocative prints on the clothing. This portal to Canada's punk, hardcore and metal scene is exposing the dark side while making an imprint across the country. The store opened in 2010, an extension of the Canada-wide Absolute Underground magazine. The bi-monthly publication was launched in 2004. Today, it has a circulation of 10,000 copies, reaching as far east as Toronto. John Warnock is a photographer for the magazine and is working with local models and makeup artists to create their first and maybe last calendar for 2012. You see, according to the Mayan calendar, 2012 is going to be the last year as we know it. And that's one of the reasons behind the project. Each shoot or month of the calendar will have a different theme, some a bit more family friendly than others. We're trying to basically bring up the underground and show people that basically it can look good as well. It's not all about being crusty punks, it's also about, you know, gorgeous hot babes that, you know, that like to play on the dark side. So that's what we're trying to do with this calendar project. We caught up with John on a shoot with a model known as Deva. That can't be a hard one to master. <laughs> First, she's decorated in body paint by Kristen Grant of Urban Heart. I've been an artist for a really long time and only recently have I started um, working with an airbrush just about a year ago. And um, body paint's really cool because I get to work on canvases that are fun and like give energy back to me. It's not just like a flat canvas that that I'm painting on and kind of like sucks up my energy. <laughs> For this shoot, Deva will be wearing an outfit that was created by local designer Mikar Acton, a two-piece paper well, garment, no, quite I fittingly know. made from pages from previous copies of the Absolute Underground magazine. Yeah. With finishing touches, it's go time. Deva, Kristen and John get into the zone working to create the perfect calendar image. It is amazing to just get into character and with our creative minds we come up with such brilliant results each time and it's it's just always a surprise what we come up with. I'm like, that's cool, but mm -hmm. it's like, eh. Um Today we just had like a bunch of different stencils and a few colors in mind and we whipped it all together and this is what we have here. Yeah, magic happens so it's it's pretty great that way and I love the creativity I love the effort on their end as well as mine when it comes together it's great there you go this type of modeling is just my way of expressing myself and um, I wouldn't really categorize it as anything because it's just me doing what I love to do and doing what appears to be what I do best you're a gremlin you're gonna just like you know <laughs> is that your real hair no. <laughs> this is uh, dreads that were donated to the photo shoot by Monique Siddle, and she's um, Taito dreads, and she lives in the UK, and she actually sent them out to me. There you go. How does it feel to be in that dress made of paper? Quite uncomfortable. <laughs> now, this won't be your average calendar. Be prepared for some extreme imagery. You can just, like, feel yourself just pushing into the camera, and when you hear the click, you know that's going to be a good shot. It's a gut feeling. You just know. As soon as you see it, it's like... Yeah, you just click. <laughs> that one's done. Copies will be available by the end of October. In Victoria, behind the scenes and absolutely underground. My name is James Green for The Daily.